the GT TSI has been more than just another variant in the Volkswagen Polo lineup. It stands for a lot more than just turbocharged stratified injection. It is an emotion for those who have driven it, experienced it and own it. It is synonymous with performance. In fact, it has been consistent and often the sole flag bearer of affordable performance in India. And it brought all of these traits to life with a 1.2 litre turbocharged petrol motor and a DSG transmission under the hood. The 2020 Volkswagen Polo GT TSI loses them both. And with that being said, the question is, has it lost everything that it always stood for? Well, let's find out. Well, in terms of performance, surely not. If anything, the new 1-litre three-cylinder turbocharged motor makes more power than the 1.2 it replaces. In fact, in a recently concluded best of 2020 mega test, the Polo TSI was among the top 10 fastest cars to go around the short loop of the BIC. The one that we had on that test, of course, was the manual transmission variant. In comparison, the GT TSI doesn't quite feel as quick to get off the line. In the manual, you can really keep the taco needle pinned around the 4000 RPM mark and dump the clutch to get a really quick start off the line. But that is not something that you can do in this GT TSI, primarily because it comes mated to the 6-speed torque converter unit. That being said, the GT TSI isn't a slowpoke by any means. Despite the downsized motor, it is quite fast and entertaining. Just what you would expect from the GT TSI. In the 2020 GT TSI, Volkswagen has replaced the old DSG with a 6-speed torque converter. Now we've experienced the same engine and transmission combination in the Vento and the Rapid before this, and in the Polo GT TSI, it carries forward the same traits. When left in the demo, the transmission shifts rather seamlessly and in that sense is quite similar to the old DSG. In fact, it responds to inputs quite well and doesn't hang back from giving you a downshift. It is only when you switch to the S mode that the downsides of the torque converter unit become rather evident. While it does hold on to the revs quite well and that makes the overall drive experience that much more engaging, downshifts are noticeably jerky and that does get quite annoying. That being said, in this Polo GT TSI, surprisingly, these downshifts aren't as jerky as we felt on the Rapid before this. In the manual mode too, upshifts aren't quite as quick as you would want them to be. While the 6-speed torque converter unit does have its downsides, it does the job better than most other automatic transmission options that are available in the market today. Not much has changed in the design department from the standard Polo. The only noticeable changes are the badges on the grille, boot and the C-pillar. Just like before, the GT TSI gets gloss black ORVMs. The car also gets a large roof-mounted spoiler as standard. Volkswagen offers it as an accessory on the standard Polo as well. Much of the interior is unchanged too. In fact, it would get really hard to differentiate the standard trim from the GT TSI if not for the gloss black surround to the infotainment and the checkered seat upholstery. We've been saying this for the better part of the decade now, the Polo falls behind in the features department. While it does get a touchscreen infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, anti-pinch windows, rain-sensing wipers, cool glove box and more, it does miss out on LED headlights, reversing camera and some essential features that have now become the norm in the segment. The GT TSI does however get the My Volkswagen Connect app, a SIM-based connected car tech. The previous iterations of the Polo GT TSI brought something exclusive to the table, something that the other variants didn't offer. A more powerful turbocharged petrol motor and a butter smooth DSG transmission. Both these aspects made it the go-to car for petrol heads. But now, with the turbocharged petrol motor being offered in multiple variants and with the manual transmission option, the GT TSI no longer holds an edge in terms of performance. As far as automatic transmission goes, Volkswagen offers the same 1-litre turbocharged engine and the 6-speed torque converter in the Highline Plus and the red and white variants as well. 
and then there is the matter of the price. Both the aforementioned variants are considerably cheaper than the GT TSI, which further robs it of its exclusivity. While that makes performance accessible to a larger audience, it makes the GT TSI batch somewhat insignificant. Ever since the launch of the GT TSI, it has firmly held its position in the Indian market. But now, with more affordable variants offering similar kind of performance, it makes the GT TSI badge more vulnerable than ever.